Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to design a steel column with the help of Eurocode and I've taken for, uh, to our calculation, I've taken a column with the height of 5000 millimeter, which is 5 meter and I've used IPE 160 profile or trolled and uh, you know, on top of it there is the loading which is 300 kilometer and I've assumed both the support has pin connection uh, after having this information uh, when we have uh, IP160 we can get all the information such, such as uh, I value moment of inertia and E value and a cross section area of uh, 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 the IP160 straight from the table and we have designed uh, design load which is NEV is 300 kilometer and we always must have uh, the the, uh, the ratio between these two. We always must have less than one. And MC uh, MCOD, sorry, there must have been MC compression. Mm, I'll just correct it. MCOD. This should be always less than uh, one. And uh, there's a uh, always uh, in Eurocode there is is same cross section class one comma two or three I put it this way just give me a sec yes one two or three if we have cross six class one two or three the uh, the capacity compression capacity can be can be calculated like this but when it goes beyond that or cross six in class four and we must calculate cross six in effective area and Eurocode has assumed if it goes to cross section class 4 part of the cross section will not take any load at all this is assumption and I quickly show you how the how the how the cross section class are defined so that you have idea how they are done in Eurocode so these are the profiles type uh, there are various kind of profile port roads cross section I beam and welded welded uh, I beam when we do the optimization like I showed you in previous videos uh, then we mostly weld the cross section and then in that case there are different C and it's same with uh, if we have a rectangular hollow cross section hot roll or the welded one so when the part is subjected to bending let's say bending means mostly beam and when the part is subjected to compression mostly column then we can we can we can mm, check we can do the check uh, C divided by thickness of wave and C divided by thickness of wave if the part subjected to bending then should be less than 72 times this factor over here which we get by uh, root onto the 235 divided by FY yields capacity of the material what we are using and in our case we are using S355 so when we're calculating this value over here then we always have to put 2355 Newton per millimeter square in MathCAD otherwise it does not give it does not give good result and like you can see if the uh, yield capacity is 235 then the value epsilon value will be a 1 and if it's 275 then it will be 0 0.92 if it's 355 then it's 0 0.81 in our case it's 0 0.81 because we were using S355 and when we know this all value we can do the check and in check if it falls in cross section class 1, 2 or 3 we can have the formula like this we don't have any reduction in the area that means we have uh, we are using the full capacity and when we put the ratio between the the load we have applied and the capacity our profile has must be less than uh, this should be less than one and when we calculate it is it's less than one this is just a check in mathcad if it's less than one and it's okay otherwise we have to do recheck we have to change the profile or uh, we have to do some 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 new i we have to put some new ideas so that 
it is uh, the cross section is valid once we do the check and this is okay then we go further and we try to check the lateral torsional buckling capacity of the profile uh, similar to previous one when we calculated compression capacity then there was uh, this cross section class one two three then we use this formula otherwise we use area effective and in this uh, case also lateral torsional buckling capacity also if we are using cross section class one two or three then we use like this redox reduction factor pool area yield capacity and this is one in your code so it does not have any effect and similarly in this one if it's cross section class four we use area effective but in our case we have ip 160 and i know more or less it's going to fall in cross section class within this so uh, I'm, I'm considering this formula over here and we need a factor alpha factor here because we need uh, that factor to get the value for the reduction factor and to get that alpha factor Eurocode also has another table I will show you quickly so that you are aware of it this is still the, the, the to determine the cross section class uh, so this is the same table which I showed you earlier but in two parts because they were in two pages in Eurocode so I have to take them in two parts but here is this another so we are using hot rolled i beam if we are using welded we go to this category if we are using hollow section we go to this category and if we are using welded box we go to this category and ut and solid section this category and l section this category but at this moment we are using i profile and thickness of flange is less than 40 millimeter that's for sure and this is why and material is 355 and we have two axes y y y and z z at this moment um, we are using the weaker side because uh, we don't know a lot of information about this column so we are using weaker side that means we are using a when we consider a then the imperfection factor would be 0.21 so we go to this side and when we go up 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 yes so we did this check and we were here and a is now 0 0.21 and this value over here is pi square ei divided by l square l square is the length between the two points this length also varies according to the support type I will quickly show you mm, according to Eurocode it is like this and in our example I have assumed it's pinned pinned connection but if it's for example fixed fixed connection then it will be 0 0.7 times L and if it's fixed connection and another side is the pin connection then it will be 0 0.85 L so this is how it goes but in our case it's pin pin so it will be definitely one so let's go back again and we will do this lateral buckling check here and this is due to compression loading no this is due to uh, bending moment BMG, AMG, AMG. but we were doing the one with compression loading we will we'll see that further when uh, we have bending moment acting on the beam but at this moment we're, 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 we're going to do the check with compression loading and we determined this one earlier and we took this value from our table and this value over here is root under area times fy divided by mc or which we just determined is 720.69 and uh, after having that give me a sec yes after having that we just quickly put the value it gives us 0 0.995 and this is this kind of equation if it's cross section class one two or three but otherwise there will be effective area normally we don't do the cross section class four uh, uh, in hand calculation because they are more complicated and there we have to do a lot of calculation additional calculation and uh, 
have to, you have to consider the area which are not taking a load and we have to deduct that area from the real area which is over here this area minus the one which is not taking the load and then it will be area effective and uh, after having that we go to determine the value this value over here and this is we have determined this already this is over here and slenderness factor is 0 0.995 and slenderness factor to the power uh, to the power 2 and after this all after this all we are uh, further doing the check because this factor always has to be less than one otherwise the the result or otherwise no there would be no reduction so we can we can consider that there would will not be any reduction but at this moment uh, it is like this and we have certain reduction factor that means this means if i change it to percentage let me quickly see it's 66.925 percentage capacity we can check so now we go back to the reduction factor and uh, when we apply this reduction factor to our equation we get the capacity is this we had real capacity which was 700 plus if i remember right let me check it quickly 713.195 kilonewton but after considering the lateral torsion of buckling it gives us the capacity of 477 kilonewton and definitely this has to be less than one so we are doing like this and if we are having also the bending moment on the same column for example we're getting the load from this side as well going from this this point towards this it will make some bending core like this since we have pin connection there will both the end will have general moment and this still will be curved like this if it's exactly in the middle but might uh, might varies where is the location uh, but at this moment I'm not worried about what is where is how is the bending curve really looks like so this, uh, this video I'm not making to determine the, the bending moment diagram and the self force diagram that's why I'm not worried I'm just considering there is 5 kilo Newton meter of uh, bending moment uh, and MED always have to be uh, this, uh, the, the ratio between these two has to be less than one and MBOD there is this reduction factor and if it's one or two uh, cross section uh, then there will be WPS and if it's cross section class 3 there will be WL and if it's cross section class 4 uh, 3 it could have been here 4 4 yes double effective so in our equation we're considering we are having the cross section class one or two so we are using section plastic and height of the cross section is uh, 160 millimeter and ratio between height and the breadth is 1.952 and similar to previous one our this uh, factor is uh, coming from table and it's 0 .0, 0 0.21 I will quickly show you where where is it I will just go down 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 and material it's I and then the thickness of flame is less than 40 millimeter and I'm using at this moment a graph 0 0.21 this imperfection factor and I go to this side now again and this is the imperfection factor where was it this is bending moment and this is the imperfection factor we have got from table and this is section modulus plastic and w y is w b l and c is another value we require and this is I w. These all are all the values are coming straight from table because we are considering IP 160, and this you get from manufacturer. You ha you don't have to calculate, but this C one we have to take from a table again because uh, 
designing for euro code is mostly you have to know where all the values are coming from so and we go down 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 we're considering the bending moment diagram is looking like this both the yin have zero moment and scroll like this and our c1 value will be 1.13 so when we have the value c1 1.13 then we can calculate mcr once we know the mcr we calculate this slenderness factor which is 1.694 and after calculating this this looks like this and it says we can use only the let me just quickly see only 30.1 percent of the real capacity like this 30.147 of its real capacity and when we put the value oh, and it has to be less than one otherwise uh, there would be no reduction and when we put the value then it looks like this 2.26 kilonewton and our applied moment is 5 kilonewton so there should not be the problem and med yes med is our uh, applied moment and mbr is the capacity and it's less than one so it's okay and further uh, this is w y which is wpl times f y this gives us uh, the capacity this is the uh, general method without any reduction if there is no reduction at all then we apply this this formula this, uh, if we assume there is no lateral torsional buckling then we can straight give the more bending capacity is this and we're just doing the check without any lateral torsional buckling straight formula and it gives us 43.98 kilonewton and at the end the capacity uh, used uh, our loading gives us this moment and the capacity is this and it has to be less than one and it is so it is okay so this is how the the column design is done i will again go back to the tables what we have been using because uh, then you kind of understand how the values are coming from come in and this is uh, the cross-section class determination uh, how to determine the cross-section class for this we just go through the profile type and we just go further and we just check body subject to bending or body subject to compression and then once we know that we go further and then we, if we are considering its cross-section class one and e was the value epsilon value and it was according to the material yield capacity and further this was imperfection imperfection factor uh, which is according to the material cross section and the material and the axis because it has different it, it, it has different value for y and j but at this moment i'm considering the more critical one uh, in our example so i just used one but if it's you know the direction more exactly then you could sometimes according to the direction you may have to use b which gives you the better result with a 0 0.34 and this is uh, the this table was to get the value for imperfection factor and this this table also can be utilized if the ratio between height and the breadth is less than this we can use this uh, uh, this is more more straight table more straightforward table and after that this was the uh, to get the critical length if it's spin to pin the length was uh, one if it's spin to fi uh, fix to fix and fix 0 0.7 and if it's fix and pin it was like this and this is another method how we can calculate the slenderness factor this you don't have to consider at all and this was to get the idea when we get the bending moment how we get the c1 value and if we have this kind of diagram then it's 1.13 it was needed to calculate to do our calculation when we get the lateral torsional buckling due to bending yes thank you and hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you very much